Hi everyone. A few months ago I put together a couple of videos on how to obtain McDonald's Omega in SPSS using Andrew Hayes Omega macro and at the time I was using SPSS version 26 and I essentially walked you through uh, how to install the, uh, mac his macro and then go about generating results using the drop down menus. So in this video I'm working with SPSS version 27 and I'm going to show you an alternative way of generating McDonald's Omega using that macro. And in particular we will be relying on some syntax to do it, but it's very easy syntax to work with. Now before I get started, uh, you can see this data set that's on your screen right now. This is the data set that I'll be working from in this presentation, so you, I'm going to include a link to that underneath the video description so you can download it to follow along. So to begin, uh, in terms of obtaining the macro, uh, what you'll need to do is to go to his website right here. This is the link and I'll include uh, this underneath the video description as well. So if you scroll down, you'll see that it says Omega right here. And right down here it says download Omega here. And there's an Omega.zip file. So if you click on that, you'll get the zip file that downloads. So if I open this up, you can see that there are several files in here. So there's a couple of example data files. Uh, there's uh, this file right here, which was actually used to build uh, the uh, interface uh, if you're going to use a drop down approach. And then this file right here contains the syntax with the uh, macro included. And so we're, we're going to be using uh, this file right here to activate the, the macro in memory and then use some basic code in order to uh, generate our results. You'll see this file right here, it says Omega Documentation, and it's going to contain information that would be uh, important for you to know uh, if you're going to be using uh, this uh, syntax file right here. So I've got my SPSS data file opened up uh, and I'm going to just going to go ahead and double click on this syntax file to open it open up a new syntax editor and it's going to contain all the macro information so what we need to do in order to use a macro is to activate it in memory so to do that I'm going to click on edit select all and then this green button right here and so now the macro has been activated in memory so you'll see that uh, everything's been run this is just the output file so I'm going to close this out and I'll close out this syntax file as well since it's already active in memory and I'm going to go back to my uh, data set right here and the data set contains uh, items from a questionnaire that I gave a long time ago and so we're just going to use a, a subset of items we're going to be using uh, items uh, PQ3, PQ4, PQ5, 7 and PQ9 right here so I'm going to click on file go to new and then go down to syntax and open up a new syntax editor and so we can just use some very basic code in order to generate um, our McDonald's Omega so uh, what I'm going to do is type in Omega and then space and then items equal and then I'll type in the names of the items as they are in my data set. So I'm going to type in PQ3 space PQ4 space PQ5 PQ7 and PQ9 and then follow that up with a period at the end. So make sure there is a period at the end. So if I highlight this and run it you'll see that now I get my reliability estimate. So this is it right here. So it's 0.868 for those items. So I can also generate a McDonald's Omega estimate um, and a uh, bootstrap confidence interval around that estimate using uh, some very simple uh, modifications to the code we just wrote. So I'm going to click out of here and go back to my syntax. And so to do this, we're going to leave in omega items equal PQ3 through PQ9. At the end here, we're going to remove this period, and instead we're going to type a forward slash and HA equals 1, and then another forward slash, I'm going to type in boot equals 2000, and then a forward slash, and then CONF equals 95, and then a period at the very end. So briefly, this HA equals 1 that you see right here, this is uh, asking the macro to use a different estimation approach 
And so uh, by setting that to one, we're using a, an approach that's different in terms of estimation than what was used previously when we ran the analysis. And the reason why I'm doing that here in this context is in particular because we can't obtain the boots, uh, a confidence interval around uh, our McDonald's Omega if we use this, the uh, other approach. So you'll see then I've got boot equals 2000. I'm requesting 2000 bootstrap uh, resamples and then we are requesting right here the CONF equals 95. That's a 95% uh, confidence interval. So it's basically going to be a 95% uh, uh, bootstrap confidence interval that's being generated around our Omega. So we'll go ahead and highlight this and click on the green arrow. And so now you can see in our output we've got Omega that's given as well as a 95% uh, confidence interval. So the, the bootstrap 95% confidence interval ranges from 0.83 to 0.894. So that's all there is to it. If uh, Just to show you what would happen if we went with the standard approach um, that we started off with, if I leave all of this exactly the same but take out that HA uh, equals 1, then in this case right here what I end up with is just the omega that's given right here. So uh, it will still generate the omega, but it's not going to generate the bootstrap confidence interval. And one last thing that I thought I would show you is that we can make another modification to our syntax if we wanted to obtain Cronbach's alpha and a bootstrap confidence interval around that estimate. So to do that, I'm going to go back to um, right here and let me just kind of put in a little space right there and I'm going to type in uh, forward slash after that last item alpha equals one and then we'll leave our forward slash then boot equals 2000 CONF equals 95 again you gotta have that period at the end so when I highlight this and click on the green button right here to run it now you can see that I get Cronbox alpha right here and then the 95% uh, bootstrap confidence interval around that estimate. So that's basically all there is to it with respect to using um, Hayes um, Omega macro um, and it just basically involves some fairly simple syntax to use. Just keep in mind that when you close everything out Omega will not be active in memory so whenever you want to uh, use Omega using this uh, syntax file that uh, he provided you'll need to reactivate uh, the macro in order to uh, use the syntax and not have errors pop up. Okay so that pretty well concludes this video presentation and I appreciate you watching.